Hi, I'm Michael Cornell. I'm the founder of the Align Ballet Method, and I'm here today with one of our instructors, Alexandra Pullen. How are you today? Great. Very good. Uh, we're going to do a uh, tendu exercise from fifth position. Alexandra was a dancer with American Ballet Theater. She's now uh, in college here in Los Angeles. She's going to university in uh, specializing in medical studies, so very exciting. Um, and she is al also one of our primary instructors at our main location here in Los Angeles, near Beverly Hills. So if you would like to study with us, please go to our website, alignballetmethod.com. You can get 30 days of free virtual training just by signing up for our free virtual membership. We have a 30-day trial, alignballetmethod.com. If you like this video, click subscribe because we're producing many videos uh, with all of our instructors, Alexandra being one of them, but we have nine other instructors in Los Angeles that uh, have a lot to share with you. So let, with that out of the way, let's get started. Let me show you more of our beautiful studio on Pico Boulevard near La Cienega. So we love this space. We've been here for two or three years now. So um, we're going to do a general tendu exercise from fifth position. So we start from the fifth, and we'll use the arms. We'll take the arm into high fifth. We go tendu, deep demi plie with chasse forward. Beautiful. And we close into fifth position. Then we go back tendu derriere, demi plie, chasse bang. And then we're going to go tendu first, tendu fifth, tendu first, tendu fifth. We draw up to the passe, and we close behind, and we reverse. Let's go through it one more time. Tendu. Uh, so we can start from the back. So yeah, exactly. Thank you. Tendu. Plie chasse backwards. Tendu inside leg front. Plie chasse forward. Tendu in first. Tendu in first. Passe up and lower. And then we'll stretch forward and back and go into susu. Very nice. What I notice that you may want to concentrate on if you're playing along, along at home, and that's why we create these videos so you can try at home and, and hopefully improve your technique, is the most new, new students have a real trouble closing their fifth position. I don't like to encourage students to force their turnout, but I do like to encourage students to bring the toes back. Could, so could you show that she closes into the fifth, right, and the toes come back. And actually the whole upper thigh wants to try to rotate by squeezing the glutes. It's something I think you have to just sort of explore. Can you show it from the back? So if she shows, goes inside leg back. What I like to think of in coaching our students when they're doing this is to think of taking the heel to the little toe, right? So the whole, and you want to think of sealing the whole upper leg in. Then let's show the tendu first to fifth. I always find that this is a great type, type of moment in a bar to really work on the external rotation. And it's really interesting to feel these two motions between first and fifth. So first you're rotated. Fifth is sort of a different feeling of a rotation because it's a cross position. So do you have anything you could guide people on on how to close to fifth or how to think of accessing your external rotation? Yeah, so obviously first position is a little bit easier than fifth, but for the tendu side first and then close fifth, when you close fifth, you want to think about passing through a first position and then just sliding your foot across to fifth. So finding that first position first to the side helps a lot. And then, yeah, what you were saying about wrapping the toes back to the front, heel coming forward from the back is usually what I cue, and then using the turnout from your hips. How would you describe accessing the external rotation? What muscles would you be able to describe? What muscles you think you use or the other teachers that you studied with guided you through? Well, I think it's a hard concept when people are just starting because it's really unnatural to externally rotate um, but someone described it to me one time as like your leg is a box so there's the front the inner thigh the back the outer thigh and that's how you are in parallel when you turn out the inner thigh switches to the front so thinking about it like that of just like everything comes forward um, and then you wrap the thighs around wrap the glutes around that's interesting that's interesting. So it's like a box. So if this is your front of your thigh, when you turn out, it goes boom like that. Now your inner thighs are the front when you turn out. 
Instead of just thinking about your feet turning out, you want to think about the turnout coming from the tops of the thighs. Yes, amazing. Inner thighs forward. Inner thighs coming forward. So it's a, and she makes a very good point in that it is something that I've found our newest students have trouble accessing. Yeah, because they just don't have that muscle, so it just takes doing more building that muscle to feel it. Sorry, say that one, one time. So they don't have that muscle yet, so it just takes doing bar and building those muscles to ultimately access and strengthen them. Yes. An exercise I found that helps our students is the, what's called the bridge where you lay on your back and you bend your knees in and you press your hips into the air and you feel the glutes squeeze. It's a way to begin to, so it's just you bend your knees, your feet are flat on the floor, and you press your hips up into the air and as you do that you squeeze your glutes just to get engaged with the glute muscles, the external rotators. So, but it's a process. Ballet is a process. Yep. <laughs> so, well, let's try this along with Alexandra. Um, Rome was not built in a day, so uh, do the best you can. And, you know, practice this a couple times and, and do it once. And just what I recommend, do it once, get the choreography, repeat it again, and then see if you can begin to repeat the exercise once you know the choreography of the material, really engaging these muscles and, and, and minor technical things like bringing the toes back. Okay, let's try, let's watch her dance because it's magnificent. Here we go. Music. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alexander. That was beautiful. So amazing. So if you uh, like, uh, like this, we have more videos. Click subscribe. Uh, we're, Alex and I are doing quite a few today. So there'll be a whole series here, four or five videos with Alexander doing this incredible demonstration. If you notice that beautiful turnout coming down, her perfect articulation to the foot. So there's a lot to learn just by watching her excellent dancing. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this.